A tearful plea in court today from the family of Haley Danderan. They tried to convince the jury she doesn't deserve to spend the rest of her life in prison. Danderan's mother and grandmother says she made a mistake because she was an abusive, in an abusive relationship. Manolo Morales has more. The extended sentencing phase of the trial is asking the jury to decide if Dan Durant should be eligible to get life without the possibility of parole. Dan Durant's family told jurors that she deserves a second chance. I understand the horror that happened on that day, but I can promise you my daughter would never do this again. She wouldn't have done it in the first place if she wasn't in an abusive, horrible relationship. I'm pleading that you offer her parole so that I can have make more memories outside of prison. The jury found Dan Durant guilty of killing Thelma Boyneville and tying up her eight-year-old daughter Makana in 2017. Her then-boyfriend Stephen Brown was also found guilty of the same charges in a separate trial. Dan Durant's family says before meeting Brown, she had been a caring and empathetic person. My daughter is a very loving, caring, um, incredible human being. She's very intelligent. Um, she has made her mistakes like many of us. Where was the empathy on December 7, 2017, when McConnell was bound and gagged and left in that bedroom? There was no empathy there, no selflessness. No caring. Bell points out that Dan Duran was an active participant in the murder and kidnapping and that the victims were complete strangers to her. The defense told the jury that a life sentence without parole is usually handed to mass murderers who have no prospect of reform. And he says that is not the case with Dan Duran. The government tells you, is telling you, she's, she's the devil. Uh, we need to lock the devil up forever. Thank you, Aiden. The devil places all of us at risk. Jury deliberations will resume on Friday. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Closing statements were heard today in the Eric Thompson murder trial. The prosecutor told jurors Thompson repeatedly lied while on the witness stand that he lied about his whereabouts the night of the murder and that he was still angry his wife cheated with the victim, John Tokuhara. He was dishonest about the status of his relationship and he was dishonest about his whereabouts on January 12, 2022. Because the truth is, is that he still harbored ill intent towards John Tokuhara. How can he be here by the door, there walking along by the stepping stones, okay, there in a truck, all in roughly the same time period? They needed to come up here and explain it all to you. They have not done so. The defense says the prosecutor's evidence has many holes that have not been explained, including security footage that they say shows Thompson at three different places at the same time. The upcoming school year starts on Monday, but the school bus driver shortage still, st still suspending over a dozen routes across Oahu and Kauai. The Department of Education says the issue stems from lack of people with the right qualifications. But as Chrissy Tamashiro learns in tonight's I-Team report, there's also a lack of training options. The Department of Education